Yo, what up? Let's do an example here. So we have a relation between x and y consisting of all points x, y, where the distance between x, y to the origin is 3. So seems uh, a little confusing, but it's actually not too bad. We have to take that information and answer these three questions. So we have to write an equation for this described relation and then we have to figure out whether 1 and 3 is in the relation and then whether the relation is a function or not. So for part A, when we find the equation of this relation, I'm going to show you how to do it in two different ways. So the first way, let's show it through a diagram. So we have a point x and y, just a random point, it could be anywhere, and the distance between x and y, this point, and the origin has to be 3. So this distance over here, it has to be 3. However, notice that this x and y can be anywhere, right? It can be down here even, and the distance between that point and this point has to be 3. It could also be on the axis here, right? So this can be x and y. The y value would be zero because it's on the x-axis, but I just put a y there anyway. So this distance here has to be three. The point can also be up here, right? So this can be x and y. The x value would be zero because this is, represents a y-intercept. So this distance has to be three. So it has to be three all the way around. So if you notice, basically this forms a circle. And any point here on the circle has to have a distance from the origin to that point. So this can be x and y, here, here, anywhere on the circle. It has to have a distance of three, meaning that the radius of this circle is three and it has a center in the origin. So we know the equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So if the r is three, then three squared is nine, so the equation of this relation is x squared plus y squared is equal to nine. So that's the first way we can show. We could show through a diagram and then realize that we're dealing with a circle. Now to tell you the truth, I don't really like this way. We just sort of like stumbled upon the realization that we're dealing with a circle. We made a diagram, realized we're dealing with a circle, and then hey, we made an equation and it fits into the description of the relation. Let's try to do it in a better, more clean way. Now if you read the question carefully, you can tell that we're dealing with the distance between two points. And just as a review, the distance between two points, so if we have this x1, y1, and then x2, y2, would be this formula here. You may have to go back all the way to grade 10 to review this. So this is the distance formula between two points. And the two points that we're working with in our relation is a general point x and y, and the distance between x and y to the origin 0, 0, has to be 3. So let's label these points here. This can be x2, y2, and this would be x1, y1. And now taking all of our information and now subbing it into this formula, the distance between these two points has to be 3. So I put 3 here for d. And then x2 is x, and then x1 is 0. So we got x minus 0, right? x2 minus x1 squared plus y minus 0 squared. Same thing. The y is y2 and the 0 is y1. So let's simplify this a little more. So we'd have 3 is equal to the square root of x minus 0 squared is just x squared plus y minus 0 squared is just y squared. And now if we want to get rid of the square root here on the right side, what do we do to both sides? Well, we can square both sides, right? What we do to one side, we've got to do to the other. So three squared is nine. And then when we square this side, the square root goes away. So we'd be left with x squared plus y squared. And notice how this here is the same equation of the relation that we got here. However, in this way, 
it was a lot more clean like we didn't stumble upon any realizations this way was sort of a fluke this way we realized that we were dealing with the distance between two points got the formula subbed all of our information in and got this equation moving on to part b we have to find whether the coordinate one and three is in this relation and the way we can do that is using the equation that we got in part a so the equation that we got was x squared plus y squared is equal to nine and all we have to do is sub in 1 and 3 for x and y and make sure that this relation holds. So subbing in 1 for x, we get 1 squared plus the y would be 3. So 3 squared is equal to 9. 1 squared is 1. 3 squared is 9. And then this 9 stays here. And then notice on the left side how we get 10. And that does not equal 9. So this point here, this coordinate one and three is not in this relation. Another thing you can do is you can take this point and find the distance between this point and the origin. You would get the square root of 10 as the distance, but the distance has to be three. So that's another way that you can tell that it won't be in this relation. And then part C, is this relation a function? Well, pretty simple. It's a circle with a radius of three. We just have to realize that a circle is never a function. It's always going to fail the vertical line test. Okay, there's multiple Y values for a bunch of X values. So is this relation a function? No. And the answer to this question was also no. I forgot to put that. So yeah, anyway, this is how you do the question. It's not too bad. It looks confusing at first when you read it, but uh, once you get into it, you realize that you're dealing with a circle and then everything becomes a lot more easy.